Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to Art Regner's video blog. Welcome to the uh, Sports Corner. It's now a little after 2 o'clock in the morning, very early Sunday or late Saturday evening, depending on what your preference is. And we're talking about, of course, the Tigers' uh, a very emotionally draining 6-4 to four victory over the New York Yankees in 12 innings uh, in the first game of the ALCS. Uh, what a game. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, the emotions of Tiger fans must be frayed. I can just imagine how the players truly feel after blowing a four-run lead in the bottom of the ninth uh, as uh, Jose Valverde, again, uh, could not uh, uh, hold a lead and for the second game in a row, uh, gave up the lead. This time it was not the, the game, uh, but uh, uh, Raul Ibanez again gets a two-run homer after... Uh, uh, Ichiro Suzuki got a two-run homer. So, I mean, I can go on and on and on about this. I mean, this is a, a strange game because I think a lot of performances are going to go unnoticed or forgotten. Uh, Johnny Peralta was, I believe, three for six in this game, or three for five, I believe. Uh, he came up big with the stick. He's really started to find his groove hitting, which was big. Made some great plays in the field early on to preserve uh, a 0-0 tie at that point. Uh, robbing A-Rod of a hit and bases were loaded. So you've got to give Peralta uh, high marks in this game. Austin Jackson, a beautiful running catch in center field. Uh, A.J. Uh, you know, gets the uh, uh, Tigers started again, scores a run in this game. When he gets on base, the Tigers do very, very well. Uh, so, uh, as I said, Doug Fister pitched very, very well. Phil Coke, how about Phil Coke? Phil Coke, 16 pitches, 15 strikes. When have we seen that before? Uh, uh, Octavio Dotel pitched very, very well. Of course, Drew Smiley. Benoit was a little bit of a roller coaster. They were tagging the ball on, on him, but uh, he was able to get out. And then, of course, there's Jose Valverde, as I've just mentioned. Now, one of the things that I really want to talk about and stress is that one of the things that makes Jim Leland such a popular manager among players is is that he is a very loyal manager. He's a player's manager. And he has repeatedly said over and over and over again that Benoit is his eighth inning guy and Valverde is his ninth inning guy and his closer. They have been the guys all season long and he's always going to go with them. Uh, well, that can't happen. That just can't happen. I think Dotel has to be the closer now. Uh, Valverde, and maybe he's not healthy. Uh, something is up with him. And I thought that Jim Leland's postgame comments, although... Uh, he didn't tip his cap as to what the Tigers are thinking about uh, a closer from here on out. Uh, he did say uh, that uh, there's going to be discussions about it, a lot of discussions. The, the coaches are going to meet and they're going to discuss what's going on. I think they can't have Valverde close the game anymore because, remember, the Tigers team themselves just seemed emotionally drained after that ninth inning. It took them a while to get over it, and thank heaven that Dotel and Smiley were able to pitch so well, uh, so uh, it allowed the Tigers, I think, to regain their bearings. Uh, Valverde cannot be the closer anymore. He just cannot be. He's blown two opportunities. There's too much at stake. You know, loyalty's a nice trait, and it's a nice characteristic, except if you're playing for a World Series and you happen to be a closer on, on your baseball team and you've blown it twice. It just cannot happen, period. Papa Grandi's got to be, you know, sent to the bench. Let him think about it. Put him in another role, perhaps. Let him go in when the game isn't on the line. Maybe he can work it out. I don't know if it's mental. I think there's something physically wrong with him. I don't have any facts on that at all. I don't really know if that's the case. But obviously, he doesn't seem to be himself. To me, it seems like his velocity is off, and they pointed that out on the telecast tonight, with John Smoltz and Ron Darling. And it seems like he's aiming the baseball to me, really aiming the baseball. And, uh, you know, that just spells disaster. Uh, as far as uh, uh, a couple of other things that we should probably take note of, I thought that Delman Young, obviously, he's a Yankee killer or something. I mean, he's confounding. Uh, you know, I, I have sat there and just ripped him and thought he shouldn't be in the five hole and he, maybe he shouldn't even be on the Tigers team. And maybe I was the, secretly praying that he wasn't even going to make the playoff roster. But he did. Yeah, he has delivered in the clutch. He hasn't had too many extra base hits uh, as of late. But he uh, got a couple of big ones today in a home run and also a, a, a double. So um, I, I'm sure the Yankees felt... Uh, that uh, they were going to win this game. And I will say this, if New York would have won this game, I think this series would have been over. 
regardless of Jared Jeter breaks his ankle or not. I think that the Tiger players themselves would have been emotionally drained. And when you talk about loyalty, and I, and I really want to get back to that point too, and I know I'm jumping around here because I'm starting to get worked up again, but I think Jim Leland, as much as he still wants to put his arm around Valverde and give him the ball and say, you're still my guy, you're still my closer, because he wants to be loyal to him. I think you have to be loyal to the rest of the guys on that 24-man roster. And I'm telling you right now, if you were to take a secret poll of the Tigers, I guarantee you they would say, sit Valverde down, let Dotel be our closer. Uh, and it's got to be Dotel. I can't think of anybody else. You know, Al Albuquerque, way too, uh, way too young, way too sporadic, way too emotional. You know, can you imagine him as the closer? He'd be kissing the baseball every, with every strike he threw or something. I mean, so it's got to be Dotel, uh, Sid Valverde down. Let him maybe work it out in a game that's a blowout one way or another. But uh, at this point, the Tigers, this was a huge win for them. A huge win for them because if they would have lost this game, I, I, as I said, I'm convinced that the series would have been over. Another thing, Derek Jeter is, uh, is not... Uh, uh, going to play. He's out. Uh, Three-month rehab now. He's broke his ankle. I think as many people know, um, you know, he uh, grew up in Kalamazoo. He's a big Michigan fan, so that helmet over there likes it. Likes Derek Jeter very, very much. But uh, uh, it, it is a shame. It is a shame, and I think we all wish him well and a speedy recovery, and we want to see him back in the pinstripes very, very soon. But enough of the Derek Jeter talk and the accolades. Please. I mean, my gosh, you know, if you if you were to tune in, you wouldn't even know the Tigers were even involved in this game or that they even won. So, media, calm yourselves down. I know it's New York. I know it's the vaunted Yankees. Uh, but for gosh sakes, there's two teams playing in this series. And, and tonight, the uh, uh, the spoils went to the Detroit Tigers as they defeated the New York Yankees 6-4 to four in 12 innings in a game that... Uh, they needed to have. It was a must-win situation. So uh, we'll see what uh, else uh, uh, happens uh, uh, as this series progresses now. Game two uh, later this afternoon at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, uh, Mr. Sanchez goes to the hill for the Tigers. Uh, the Yankees uh, look like a shell of themselves. They're not getting a lot of big hits. Uh, I think the Tigers are pr in pretty good shape. Uh, because they won this game, but as I keep saying over and over, if they would have lost this game, I think the series would have been over. They have to make a change with their closer. I tip my cap to uh, Johnny Peralta. He's played very, very well. Uh, Delman Young and Austin Jackson, I think, is uh, uh, at least in the last series against Oakland in this series. I think he's the MVP of the Tigers. I mean, as Ajax goes, so goes Detroit. I think Cabrera will start hitting. I think that uh, uh, he... Uh, uh, this was a big win. I think this will be good for his psyche, and I think Prince Fielder has done a, a, a good job, too. So overall, uh, a nice win for the Tigers, a win that they needed to have, especially after Valverde uh, blew it in the ninth. And uh, unfortunately, Jim Leland, I know you're loyal, but you're going to have to go against your loyalty and uh, just uh, uh, sit Valverde down. I'll see you tomorrow, or later today, I should say, after Game 2 of the ALCS, as uh, we'll break that down for you as well. I'm Art Regner for Fox Sports Detroit. Have a safe and pleasant one, everyone. Bye-bye.